Hello, everyone. Um, look, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've learned about this, um, this flashcard vocabulary learning uh, application called Quizlet. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it. Um, all right, here we are. So basically, it's as easy as um, if you, oh, hang on. If you've never used Quizlet, just Google it, okay? And it will come up. And um, basically, in order to use it for free, you have to um, give them an email address and your name, I think, and your age or something. Um, it also asks for all your social media accounts, but it's not necessary. You can sign up um, as easily as that. Now, I have a teacher account, which I use. Um, I think it ends up being about 13 Omani reals a year. So not super expensive, really. And um, the, the advantage is, oh, well, I will show you the advantages as we go on. OK, so first of all, here is the Quizlet account. Um, like I said, I have a teacher account. And what I'm going to show you is you can make folders or classes. Okay, and I've decided, I mean, I have classes as well, but I've decided to try to use the folder feature. And so I've made a folder called Inside Reading. And here I have the, um, the different units for Inside Reading. Now, all of these units um, I have gotten from Quizlet. Basically, Quizlet is sort of like a collaborative, um, application where a teacher makes um, makes a vocabulary set and then shares them. So you have basically access to every vocabulary set that you should need. So you basically you can create, you can make, make your own set from scratch, or you can use the search feature and say, for example, I want inside reading. So you just type in the name of your text and the unit that you want so say i want unit seven um, and then you search okay and then it comes up with all these different quizlets that have been created by other teachers um inside reading these are all the ones okay so here it is inside reading unit two or inside reading two unit seven i don't actually need unit seven but um we can take it and play with it. Okay, so basically now I have this set. Um, but what I'm going to do, because maybe I don't like the, some of the images or maybe I want to tweak the vocabulary or something. So I'm going to customize it, okay? And at this point, I'm also going to change the name. So let's say I just add week, I don't know, maybe this is week six. Okay, so basically you have the, um, the, uh, the vocabulary on the left, and then you have, um, you have the, the definition on the right. Now, this is where, I mean, eventually when students start making their own sets, you know, maybe like week six, week seven, you have them try to make their own set. Um, this is where they can change the language. So, I mean, right now it's all English. But if they wanted to, they could put Arabic. You know, they could have their definition in Arabic and have to come up with a vocabulary in English. So up to you, um, you know, if you want to have them make their own sets or not. So I just obviously keep them in English. Um, so, so essentially, Quizlet does all the work for you. <laughs> they, give you the, they give you a choice of definitions. So say, for example, um, oh, here, you just click definition. Or usually you do. Hmm. Why is it it's allowing me to? Anyway, generally all the definitions, let's see if we make this blank. Okay, here we go. Um, so then the definitions come up underneath. So then you basically, you just choose, you know, which one you want. 
uh, to make something fit, let's say, we're going to use that, okay? And generally, I like to also um, put in the word form here. So I might just add verb, oops, and, and that. Okay, and say I don't like this, this um, uh, image. So I'm going to delete it and I'm going to add one of my own. So essentially Quizlet just uses the net to generate all these different images. And usually they are rubbish, but, but you just choose, you know, the best of the worst. Um, so to accommodate, so maybe this one, maybe I decide I like that one. Okay, so then probably if I was going to use this set, I would go ahead and change each one of these to add the word form because I think that's important for students. Okay, and then you hit create and now um, you can share it in many different ways. So say for example, you decide you don't want to make a teacher account, at least not for the first you know, while, while you're getting to know this um, application. Um, you can share it on Google Classroom. You can share it in various ways. Um, I'm going to add it to a class or folder. So add it to my folder. If I was going to use it, I would add it to Inside Reading, but I'm not going to use it. So that's that. All right. So now we get to the different, um, different ways that students can study their vocabulary using Quizlet. There are seven, to, seven types of ways. The first one is flashcards, which essentially you just click and you get the definition. Another one is learn. In this case, it's a little bit more customizable. So for example, um, in these 15, 15 vocabulary words, they need, to, um, they need to get everyone correct two times. And the ones they don't get correct, they, they, have, to, they have repeated exposure to. So it's, it's good in that way, in that it works with each individual learner. So basically, they just choose from the, um, from the multiple choice. Okay, that's one method. Another method is writing. Now, this is where students have to write the um, vocabulary and say, for example, they make a mistake, and then the application will correct them. Okay. All right, and also it gives the the statistics, like how many they have left, how much they got wrong, how much they got right. Okay, so then we have spell. Um, now this obviously is a great feature for our students because their verbal skills are excellent, but often they have difficulty with the spelling. So, you know, you might want to really actually assign the spelling and uh, allow them to do the other ones um, as they want to. Okay, and say that you have a word and you, you get it completely wrong. C-O-M-P-R-E-H-E-N-S-I-V-E. -E. Okay, so then it gives you the, the correct spelling. Okay, so going back. And then the students can choose test, in which case they get like a written questions, um, matching, I believe matching questions, and a multiple choice. So a little quiz. And again, if you have the teacher account, you will get this feedback from your class, um, which again is valuable feedback in the sense that you know, you, know, you know where the problems are and you can slip those words into many, many different uh, aspects of the lesson. Okay, and then they have the games. So there's a matching game, um, a gravity game, and Quizlet Live. So this match and gravity, obviously, the students play on their own and they can choose with different levels, easy, hard, medium. Um, and they can answer with a term or answer with a definition. So maybe I'll just show you that with gravity. So get started. So this comes, uh, it, it, it starts out with the options. You can choose all the words or just the ones they have difficulty with. So this is another thing that students can do during, um, during the learn feature. Um, they can start the words that they really want to um, focus on. So you can choose just the starred ones in this case. And in addition, you can answer with the term or the definition. Obviously, 
the term is better because it's a fast game and you just and that this is what you need they need the exposure with is the spelling and um and the term okay so i would i always choose term and then easy medium hard all right and then the game starts it gives them a little bit of variety in learning the vocabulary and i guess that's the strength really um for all of it okay we'll go back the last feature I'm going to show you is Quizlet Live. Quizlet Live is where um, Quizlet assigns teams. So you can. So first of all, you choose your um, your your vocabulary sets, and then you can choose teams or individuals. Obviously, with our virtual classes, um, choosing individuals is going to be probably the easiest in terms of managing because I mean teams is more fun for the students because um, they have to collaborate in order to come up with the right definition so say for example um, there's a question then each each member of each team will get a different answer so they have to collaborate to find out oh, which is the correct answer so they don't all get the same answers um, yeah, so it can be a lot of fun and generate a lot of energy in the classroom to play this game because, you know, first the students are running around trying to find their partners and, and then there's, you know, there's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of competition, obviously. They love competition. And so, yeah, with virtual classes, I think individuals is just easiest in terms of management. And um, I mean, it's pretty intuitive, you know, it, will ask you how you want to how you want to organize it and then it will play so play live from the quizlet app let's play so quizlet puts the students in so first of all the students get this quizlet live code that they have to um, students don't have to have a paid account and i always I always really emphasize that they don't need to give away any details. They don't need to give their Facebook account, their Twitter handle, anything. They just need to sign up with Quizlet with their email and their age, basically. Uh, anyway, so once they're signed up, they can join here. Uh, they just have to type this code in and then, and then Quizlet starts generating the team names. And that's it, basically. Okay, essentially, that is Quizlet. And um, stop share. <laughs> That's Quizlet. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to just jump online and start playing around with it. But yeah, if you need any, any more info, I can try to help you. I often, you know, find things over and over again. Like, I'll know something, and then the next time I, um, you know, have to search around for it. So uh, it's fun that way. Anyway, all right. Thanks for listening. Bye.